soft roller along with a stability ball. So grab yourself some sunshine and we're going to reach on up, keeping a nice stretch up to the spine, creating nice tension and integrity into the band and just give it a little stretch to the right, to the left. And then invite those shoulder blades down, bending at the elbows and allow the heart to lead the way forward. Booty wishes back and about. And we're just going to take it to a standing tall position. Press those feet away. Open up the chest. Arms are behind your body. But as much as you start bending your, your knees, you're... Feeling the love. We're going to pivot on the ball mound of that left foot as we drive it down into that, that lunge and reach it on up. And I want you to take a bow. Maybe picking up the toes, pulling it on in, and extending it on out. Pulling it on in and extending it on out. You can always use a block or something to support underneath the knee as needed. Give me one more as you pull it on in. Pull it on out and rise to a standing tall position, moving organically in any way that you feel needed to open up some space. Pivot it on, pivot on in, open it on out. Heart is leading the way. Take a bow, bring it on in, maybe lifting it up. Bring it on down, bending at the elbows. Take a bow. One more time. Lifting on up. Bring it on in. And take a bow, coming back to the front of your mat. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs as you're alternating from side to side. And maybe this time create a little side angle, pressing into the forearm of the top of the thigh and adjust your sails. Chest moves out, booty moves forward at that reach of the arm. And as you create that, see if you can give a little bit more suppleness into the spine. And we're gonna hold. And I want you to kind of adjust so you're never using your neck. Your elbow is slightly in front of the the hip, wrist is active with the forearm. Don't allow it to find a crinkle. And holding for four, three, two, one. And we're extending and bending, keeping the elbow a little bit more forward than the hip. And we're opening it out. Think of the opposite side to using those obliques, the so side body muscles to stay lifted, stay lengthened, and staying long. Add that reach and bringing it down. One more, one more, adding that reach and bringing it down. Awesome, awesome. Bringing it back to a wide foot position, opening it out. The Titanic move, chest is forward, but the whole body is grounding down it right down into your feet let's add that side angle using the opposition so we're pressing down to lifting on up adjust your your band the way that is not necessarily needed and the whole arm bo bone wraps so as you slightly bend that elbow is a little forward than the hip itself and Adjust your sails. Wrist is nice and flush with the forearm. And we're maintaining that hold. Keep that lift in the side body. Bring it all together. Maybe kind of play with your footprints. See if they are active to helping you hold this position for four, three, two, one. And we're adding that reach and we're pulling it back and under. But the elbow stays a little bit more forward than that hip. Add that reach and rebending. Nothing is cramping your style in the neck. Give me two more as you add that reach 
and bringing it on in. One more, add that reach. Don't forget to breathe. And reconnecting wide feet, airplane arms, side to side. And pressing down into the footprints. Big toes are being felt and swirling it to the one side, swirling it to the other. I should just feel amazing to use your core of your body to help you move and groove. Nice, awesome job. We're gonna bring our band down and I want you to use your soft roller. We're gonna do a seated compression. Uh, we require so much work of our lateral hips to maintain our stability. So let's make sure we know where they are. So having a seat and I'm slightly angling forearm down and adding a little seated compression I like to be accountable for what's holding me up as I create this action. So I'm using my fingertips to pull energetically towards my body so my heart opens up. And maybe creating a gentle clamshell as I open and as I close. Don't forget to breathe. And then as I come up, maybe widening my feet a little bit more but pressing down, but never using the top entity of the shoulder. Those trapezius muscles get too bossy, and then we start cramping our style in our neck. So create that compression, adding gentle movements, adding the clamshell. Can you feel that sitting bone? Can you feel it more adhere to the front side of the roller? Does it work for you when you tilt the pelvis and tuck the pelvis and then using the tilt and the opening of the knee all at the same time, you get little wider base of your seat. And then finally, maybe widening the base of your feet, gripping and pressing down. Did it work for you? Did you use those determination muscles? Hopefully, hopefully you did. So let's come on to a, a facing up position. Hands are supported behind your spine and use the feedback of the roller to where those shoulder blades land. And as those shoulder blades land down, let the head become heavy. Press the feet energetically away. The bootylicious is still down and add that yummy, delicious stretch. But keep the elbows reaching, but active in those determination muscles all at the same time. Maybe unloading the hands. Maybe this feels favorable. And if it doesn't, maybe one hand, maybe both hands, but learn how to create that length in your spine and heavy in your hands, unload your footprint. And as you unload, can you feel that magic happening right where X marks the spot, get even more active into your seat and maybe a little quiver, that's what we're trying to look for, feeling that hold. Let's turn into those ribs, extending the left leg out as we're turning towards the right, and use the grounding action of the shoulder blades into the roller as you're lifting up your chest. Let's try it again, bring it back to the center, ground down, same side, add the extension, adding that turn and on that stop. See if you can manifest even more love and light and bring it on back. Ribs are a move in, ribs are a turning, extending on out, adding that turn. 
heel is slack to the butt cheeks, trying not to get those quad muscles too involved. And one more, pressing down to lift up, out in the action. And return those feet back to your mat and maybe give a little shear to each of those segments of the spine as you walk those feet back towards you and away from you and then stopping at any areas that you feel need it the most resetting your position so you're acknowledging how the shoulders moving groove with the, with it being actively against the roller see if you can even before you unload those feet it's knows exactly who's boss heavy in the hands right leg extends on out keeping the shoulders active adding that turn a little shaking happening bringing it back grounding down lifting up adding that rotation bringing it back give me two more adding that rotation slow and steady leads the way wins the race bringing it back one more adding that rotation putting even more energy into pressing down to allow the chest to move forward again oh and find that love find that stretch maybe walk those feet out see if that feels good do you do always do you and what makes you sing that high note i'm going to come into the top of my middle of my back and rinsing it down and then branding my booty and see if you can maybe get the elbows to press through and holding the work here chest is more forward head floats on back maybe gripping the fingers to extend the legs out maybe bring it on in and maybe extending on out give me two more bring it on in extending on out good times good times here bring it on in extending on out allow that to land and see if you can feel the sitting bones kind of open and widen and grow roots all at the same time let's turn it and use the roller onto the tops of your thighs just above the knee and we're not ever sinking the lumbar back down i want you to again just like we have an imaginary string from the tailbone it's lifting us up swirling around into the bowl mounds of our feet particularly the big toe Just create that connection with your breath and maybe bending and extending the knee pulling all 10 fingertips back gently backing it up you never want to iron out anything in your body i don't even iron my shirts anymore so why iron our precious soft connective tissue so we want to keep it soft keep it supple fluid is the answer juicy is the key long after you have treated your body it will give ba it back to you i'm going to walk my elbows out back and out and i'm just going to take one rinsing pa pass up gripping all 10 fingertips and maybe pressing into those elbows feeling those determination muscles here pulling it up do you feel your core and extending on out 
if you're not feeling those armpit muscles maybe creating more energy of the elbows to be more narrow than the wrists and bring it on in and this energy being all felt with your breath anytime you're not sure where your core is all you have to do is breathe pretty magical bring it on up strike a pose then bring it on in and all this is going to set us up for even something more amazing with the ball so grab yourself your stability ball bring it on in so pretty important work in the underside energy of your armpit around in the armpit um, versus always working in our neck and those bossy trapezius muscles and see if you can press down and pull it on in where you're feeling serratus anterior muscles engage those are the determination muscles I talk about and as I press down does my chest move back and do I have this natural energy of my booty to stick further back and then if I were to keep connection by pressing down am I able to energize and lift up those knees and then loading it back and down just kind of playing where you feel the love and playing it back and down so if you're ready let's add even more play to this pressing the elbows down keeping the length of your spine unloading the knees and then maybe using the, that tail to lift up maybe a slight bend in your knees maybe extending on back and out but never sinking those hips under lifting on up rebending and lengthening dropping keep that length of your spine pressing down press into the bull mounds of the feet tailbone lifts and then lean on in lean on back rebending setting yourself yourself up for something amazing press it down lifting on up tailbone lifts forearm plank don't sink those hips lifting rebending and dropping one more lit up that's what we do best and lower down nice job how did you do big toes go wide and I'm just gonna slightly angle to that add that reach with the ball stretching it out feeling opening into each of the spaces of the ribs and it should feel amazing check it on out add that reach moving from side to side opening up the spaces of those amazing ribs and then bring it on out okay so let's come onto our back and seeing what more trouble we can get into i want you to find your sitting bones and flex at your ankles and as you create that action the leg bone kind of becomes more integrated into that hip socket and that's where you want it to be you want integrity of the hip you want integrity of you to always maintain your hip stability so as we're here i'm going to press my hands into the ball and as i come back i'm tucking my tail under and my heels kind of slightly drag but then as i come up my chest is lifting pressing into the ball as i reacquaint my sitting bones into my mat pressing in i'm going to tuck under and then loading into my belly button magic and then as i tilt my hips back that's the whole happening and i think from our seated postures we lock into that movement of being able to isolate just our hips our spine has not changed into this partial roll down position and then as we tilt 
I'm even more active. Let's try that one more time. Tucking under, dragging the heels. And then as I lower down, we made it into that reach and it should feel good. We're engaging the belly button, unloading the legs and seeing if you can reach the ball in between and just give it a little love tap as you're flexing at the ankles and maybe just circling your low back space should be lifted as we circle from one side and then to the other and then see where you can take this in a healthy range with keeping the shoulder blades down and then bring it back up maybe exchanging ball to hands keep the ball in play in check by giving it a little love tap little squeeze maybe pointing the toes go to what feels good in your body and as i come back up i'm feeling my hips stay connected taking a switch adding that extension give it a little squeeze of the inner thighs and returning back give it a little squeeze of the hands against the ball doesn't have to be big ranges for you to get more range work in a smaller range to allow the nervous system to feel safe so those muscles can move and groove with easement one more that low back space needs to lift and then finally lower down with control as much as you're stretching the arms overhead you're pointing the toes adding that delicious stretch now let's keep us maybe the anterior tilt and we're taking it around feeling those butt cheeks creating a half circle as we bring it over and then bring it back bring it over my butt has not changed it's just the flexion and the extension of my spine one more and bring it off and let's switch it hips have not changed isolating body parts is the name of the game here game for life being able to control your body for a lifetime is really critical in our wellness give me three more two more you can always do this with more of a bent in your knees or your elbows for that matter nice job how did you do let's just take a nice stretch off to the side and i'm gonna stagger my feet away from each other and then add that push into my footprints as i reach overhead maybe supporting my hand behind my skull and then opening it up getting a nice stretch if that's desirable rebending sinking those hips adding that breath adding that reach whatever feels good in your body that's the direction that's the position you need to move and groove and i'm switching sides taking it wide your feet you're gonna have a better base of your foundation Oh, that sunshine feels delicious. And in that reach, maybe having a little bit more of length. And then as I bend it and add that extension, use your feet to dictate where you travel. fun with the ball you never know where you'll go but 
it should be playful even if we feel like we're finding more challenge that challenge should be always playful we're gonna bring put our ball to the side maybe <laughs> and grab your band I'm gonna position either a block or maybe your roller underneath one of the knees. I'm gonna be in a lunge position with my foot to allow the band not to go anywhere. And I'm just kind of taking a bow. I think by taking a bow, we can really challenge the heaviest entities of our bodies to move away from each other and that's where when communication happens and even when we're not thinking about it it's happening to keep our bodies strong vibrant and brilliant all right i have a little tension i'm going to add a row and squeezing keeping active in our breath, in our core, the calm before the storm. So we're going to take a bow, chest moves slightly a little bit forward. We're in like a runner's type of position. And we're pushing into the back of your ball mound of your foot and using those long bones to unload the knee off the roller. And then you try it again. So as you rebend, the butt needs to tip back to find that support. And that's, I feel that we lose as we sit, as we go through this life, getting up off the floor, very critical, pressing my heel energetically away. And as I'm loading, I'm slurping my spine long. It's all about timing. One more, we're gonna hold at the top end pushing in, extending out and connecting, using the tension of the band to get the side bodies to lift and loading onto the top foot and tapping forward, keeping the length of your spine and tapping back, tapping forward, tapping back, tapping forward, tapping back. Give me four. And back. Can you feel it? Are you lifted? Tall and strong. Three. Go to. And one. Let's hold it in a one legged type of position. And I want you to pump it up and down. Wrist is strong with the forearm for eight, seven. Your ankle should be moving and grooving in a healthy way. If this is not right, push down with demand into the ball mound of that footprint. Three more, two more, and one. Let that go. And we're going to pull it around. Going to reach, adding that row, reach. Out in that row, one more time, reach out in that row. All righty, let's switch sides. Don't want one to get too jealous of the other. So here we are, we're in lunge land. And we acquire that balance happening by pressing into those feet and adjust your band to extend and squeeze my shoulder blade back maybe add those runner arms as you keep tall keep long pulling it back extending on out what sings that high note what allows you to put one foot in front of the other to make life count, to feel good every day. Yes, we have those 
dips in the roads, those valleys, but how do we climb those mountains? How do we wear our crowns high? All right, here we go. And we're pressing down to lift up. Grab that mountain and lowering it down and lifting and lowering just by movement. Movement is our way in to feeling strong and confident. Movement helps us with all those healthy endorphins to make us feel the love for ourselves. Give me four more. Three, self-love is the best gift that you can give. This one we're holding tall, holding strong, and we're loading, and we're stepping over and stepping back, and maybe adding a little lightness into the rest of the body. Go four, and three, and two, and one. Oh yes, hold that tall, keep the heel lifted, get that booty delicious attitude as we work in, into the bicep for eight, go seven, active in that big toe, five, four, three, yes you can, two, yeah, anytime you feel like you're falling on over, imprint that big toe. The big toe is a little magic, a lot of magic. Just swirl it around, bring it around and in. Don't forget to breathe. The breath is your sail to making life get going, life get busy. All right, so let's just bend at your knees, give it a little, reach, maybe even feeling that wind beneath your wings as you travel to one direction is easier. Is it more fluid in your movements to the other direction? Whatever it is, drop that band, take that breath in and your arms and your whole body should be alive and well and ready to bring on the day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining and have yourself something special happening every day in your body, even if it's just to check in and take time to take care of you. Nice job.